Hello, my name is Melody Clayton, Associate Transportation Engineer with Jefferson County, Colorado. My name is Yelena Onan. I'm the Transportation Operations and Planning Supervisor, and I've been with the county for five years. Speed humps are vertical traffic calming devices intended to reduce motorist speeds on low volume, low speed roadways. In Jefferson County, speed humps are three inches high at the peak with six foot ramps on either side for a total width of 12 feet. Each speed hump is marked with reflective chevrons and accompanied by 15 mile an hour advisory speed limit signs. Speed humps have been shown to reduce motorist speeds to 15 to 20 miles an hour as motorists approach and go over the speed hump. Speed humps are typically installed in pairs and spaced such that the majority of drivers will continue to drive within five miles an hour of the posted speed limit along the treated corridor. Residents who are concerned about an excessive number of motorists traveling faster than the posted speed limit along roadways adjacent to their homes may be interested in pursuing a speed hump. While speed humps are an effective traffic calming measure, residents should be aware that speed humps increase traffic noise as motorists go over and accelerate away from the speed hump and speed humps increase emergency response times. To request a speed hump in your area, Fill out a contact us form on the Jefferson County Transportation and Engineering website. Be sure to indicate speed hump as a type of concern and be specific about the area to help with staff's evaluation. Once your speed hump request is received, Jefferson County staff will evaluate five preliminary criteria. The first is a density requirement of 12 fronting residential driveways per quarter mile. The second is that it is a local or collector street in the Plains area of the county. Speed humps are not allowed in the mountainous areas of the county. For more information on that, please see the Jefferson County Major Thoroughfare Plan available from the county's website. The last three preliminary criteria are that the pavement width is 44 feet or less, the speed limit is 30 miles per hour or less, and that the street grade or slope is 6% or less. As soon as staff has evaluated the preliminary criteria, they will send you a map and list of addresses in the petition area. It will be your job to collect signatures. If 75% or more of neighbors are in favor of speed humps, you will return the petition to the county and the county will conduct a traffic study. The traffic study must show at least 1,000 vehicle trips in 24 hours, with 30% of those drivers exceeding the speed limit by five miles per hour or more. For example, if 1,200 cars pass by your home each day in a 25 mile an hour zone, then the study would have to show at least 360 drivers exceeding 30 miles per hour. If the traffic study shows that speed and volume requirements are met, the county will send a follow-up petition. This second petition is ballot style and is sent by mail to each resident individually. It will describe the process and may include preliminary speed hump locations. It will also include an opportunity for residents to indicate whether or not they can contribute to the resident cost share. If this second petition also results in 75% agreement amongst neighbors, the county will ask for a resident volunteer to complete the final step in the process, which is to collect the resident cost share. The cost of speed humps is split 50-50 between the county and the residents. Once this cost share is received, county staff will schedule the installation with the Road and Bridge Division between the months of April and September. Note that there may not be any availability until the following year. Absolutely! 
As with the installation, to request the speed hump be removed, there must be 75% agreement amongst neighbors. To do that, submit that same contact us form on the Jefferson County Transportation and Engineering website. Be sure to indicate which speed humps you would like removed. County staff will then send you a map and list of addresses in the petition area. Once the county receives your petition, if there is planned repaving in the area, the county will remove the speed humps in conjunction with that project at no cost to the residents. If there is no planned work in the area, residents can either wait until the next planned repaving or submit to the county the cost of removal. Yes and no. If roadway maintenance results in the removal of speed humps, county staff will reevaluate the preliminary criteria. If the preliminary criteria are still met, the county will survey residents by mail. If 25% or more of the residents respond opposed to the reinstallation of speed humps, the county will not reinstall them. Otherwise, the speed humps will be reinstalled at no cost to the residents. However, once speed humps are removed and not reinstalled for any reason, all subsequent requests are considered new installations. For more information, please go to the Jefferson County Transportation and Engineering website or call 303-271-8495. And remember, please drive safely. Drive safe, Jeffco!